in political science for class 12th we are continuing the chapter environment and natural resources and the topic is environment movements environment movements are the movements to save the environment here we will specifically point out the forest and rivers so there were many environmental movements that took place in various countries from time to time and it is very good to know that not only the governments of the states are taking steps to protect and preserve the resources and the environment but many conscious voluntary groups of people also have launched diverse vibrant and powerful social and environmental movements across the globe and it is within these movements that new types of political initiatives have been reinvented so that's very nice that people are conscious common people are conscious and aware and they know the importance of the environment and its preservation and conservation so these movements have given long term perspectives on what should be done and what should not be done for the survival of individual and collective lives and for this some important movements uh, must be discussed or we must know about some important movements that took place in some countries and they must be exemplified here for example pro forest and pro river movements here pro forest means to save the forest we have already discussed you know, that the clearing of forest is a serious issue especially in which part in the third world states and it has led to the forest movements here you know by the common people and by some ngos supported by them it has led to forest movements in south especially in india mexico south globe we are talking about china malaysia brazil etc to fight for ecological conservation then movements related to mining okay mining is another serious issue so mineral industry as we know is most powerful industry on the earth in today's time and many mncs multinational companies have opened their networks in the south or in south globe with the onset of the liberalization of the global economy okay as open uh, policy for open trade with other countries that was allowed so many countries from the north globe came to the north uh, from north to south globe and started misusing exploiting the resources natural resources especially related to mines and that had caused over extraction of minerals over use of chemicals pollution of land and waterways then clearing of native vegetation displacement of local communities etc and in philippines where a number of organizations protested against a multinational company of especially australia so there in philippines they opposed an australian mnc name is western mining corporation okay that is one of the example that was opposed by the people of philippines for over extracting the minerals and even the people of this mnc of australia that was opposed in its home country also due to anti nuclear sentiment and for preservation of basic rights of the people now another movement is related to that we all also familiar with that is anti dam movements anti anti means against to stop and pro means in support or favor so pro forest means to save forest okay and anti dams means not to go for the constructions of mega dams especially okay and pro rivers also to save rivers pro means favoring and anti against anti is 
against so here anti dam movement is pro river movement also it, it can be discussed like this and here we in, in india also we have witnessed witnessed the anti dam movements and very popular anti dam movement was narmada bachao andolan nba okay uh, led by medha patkar okay and she took very strong initiative to take steps against the mega dams to be constructed on river narmada so these were what is the importance here these were non violent protests and in our own state also in uttarakhand also um, protests were going on against the dam to be constructed in tihri okay and they were all non violent protests so these movements are for mainly for sustainable development they are not against the development but they they don't want to to destroy to overuse or misuse the rivers and over exploitation of the forest so they favor sustainable development and management of river system and river valley so that both of them go side by side and in 1980s in australia again i am going to tell you the example of a movement started to save franklin river there uh, as we have river ganga main river there they have franklin river and the protest was to save franklin this river and its surrounding forest also so it is a pro river and pro forest movement and such movement started in other countries also like thailand turkey indonesia china and south africa okay and in africa campaign against ivory ivory trade that also was launched and the purpose was to save elephants okay from getting slaughtered and these are such movements they are funded by ngos non government organizations like wwf wwf here it means worldwide wildlife funds and they are they work they help with the help of the local people thank you